we are going to create this bracket. And the reason we're going to create this bracket is number one, to just practice a few skills, but number two, to see the different types of holes we can make. These are counter sink holes and counter bore holes. So you'll notice there's differences in them. This is angled, this is not. So we're going to show how to make those. All right. So first thing, click on on shape, create document, and this is a bracket. Create public document. Okay. And this project is in millimeters. So we're going to go up here and get our workspace units change them to millimeters. Mine is already millimeters. If it's not, click here, change to millimeters. Click the green checkbox to accept. Okay. Number one, uh, we're going to create the basic shape. So we're going to create a new sketch. Click up here, new sketch. And on the front plane, and I can either click here front to turn that, or if I have the front selected, I can just press N and it turns it so that that's facing towards me. So I'm looking straight at it, perpendicular to the plane. I'm going to create a rectangle and I'm just going to click and drag and hit enter because when I hit enter, this box opens up for input. This rectangle is 156 meters, millimeters, sorry, 156 millimeters wide and 87 enter millimeters tall. Okay, so that's my basic shape. Press escape to get out of the tool. Move my dimension down. And it says to extrude this shape 50 millimeters. So here's my extrude. Type right down here, 50, enter, and hit the green arrow to accept that. And there's my basic shape. Okay, now I'm going to take off a chunk from this side and a chunk from this side. So I need a sketch. I need a sketch on this plane. I'm going to press N to turn that towards me. And we're going to draw a rectangle up here. And this rectangle needs to be 32 millimeters wide and 65 tall. I'm going to do another one exactly the same on this side. And when you hover and move to the corner, click that, that as soon as you get there, it highlights it. So then you know you're on the corner. And again, same thing, 32, enter, 65, enter. And I'm going to extrude. I'm going to turn this a little so you can see. I'm going to extrude. The default setting is adding. When you extrude, it wants to add something. That's the default setting. But if you look over here, here's what it says add right here, and it just added that to it, right? I want to remove that. So now it's going the opposite way. And this object is 50 millimeters thick, so I just have to type 50 in there. Press enter. Click the green checkbox to accept that. And now I have my basic shape. Okay. Now we're going to cut out part of this face as well. So again, new sketch, click here, press N so it faces me, and I'm going to create a rectangle in here, and I'm just making a basic one. I'm not putting the exact dimensions in there. Um, my worksheet says that this length needs to be 50, so I can just type that in there, 50, enter. And my worksheet doesn't say how big this one should be. So I'm going to hit escape to get out of there. My worksheet shows me the dimension. So I'll click on my dimension. The worksheet doesn't show this dimension here. It shows from here to here. It shows that dimension. And it shows that dimension as being 29. So I'm going to put that dimension in like that. It also shows that this line is uh, 21 millimeters from there. Okay, so there are my basic dimensions for that. 
and now we're going to extrude this section. We're actually going to remove part of that. And again, when I click on the extrude tool, the default setting is to add material. We don't want to add, we want to remove. And the worksheet says we're going to remove 27 millimeters. 27, enter. Okay, and I'm going to press the green checkbox. And there's my basic shape that we had. Now, we're going to add a couple holes here, two holes here, and then a hole here, and a hole here. So let's do these two first. So I'm going to click on the top plane so it turns it that way for me. And I'm just going to put a point here. I need to do a new sketch, sorry. So I need to do a new sketch on this plane and I need to add a point. And I'm just gonna sort of estimate, I'm actually putting it not in the center on purpose, just, just for demonstration purposes here. Okay, so there's my two points and my worksheet shows that these points are 23, millimeters from the top. So I'll do them both at the same time. I'll do that one now. 23, Ooh, that was close. And it shows that it's 16 millimeters from the edge. So from here to the edge is 16, enter. And from here to the edge is 16 millimeters, 16, enter and that's where those holes will be. So all that was just to set up where the hole is going to be. So I finish this sketch by clicking the green checkbox and up here we have the hole tool. So if I click on the hole tool you'll see down here I have a couple options. I have a simple, a counter bore, and a counter sink. These holes are going to be a counter bore and you'll see the difference in a minute. So I click on counter bore, and since I've already practiced this, the settings are still in there from last time. The worksheet shows it's 13, 18, and 10. Okay, so I just have to click now and say, okay, these are the settings I want. This is where I want it. So I click on the point there, and it applies these characteristics to that point to give me the hole. Okay, so counter bore means it's basically two drill drill a drill drills through there at two different thicknesses, so that the the bolt or screw can sit on this little ledge here. Okay, now we're going to put two more holes here. So I need a new sketch. I need to click the plane I want right here, and I'm going to press N so it turns it straight towards me. And I'm going to add two more points uh, here and here. Okay, again, I didn't line them up. I didn't do anything fancy. My worksheet shows me that these both should be 25 millimeters from the edge. 25, enter. It shows that this one should be 15 millimeters from the top, 15, enter, and this one should be 42 millimeters from the top, 42, enter. Okay, and I finish my sketch by clicking the green checkbox. So that gives me my two points where my holes will be. Okay, so again, I click on the hole tool, I click on these two dots. Actually, I'll click on them now just so you can see. I click on the two dots, and you see right now I still have this center bore and these settings, which I don't want, but it, it still shows those, it applies those. So I can just change this, and this one I want to counter sync. As soon as I do that, it changes the settings. The worksheet shows 13, 20, and 90, and those are the settings that I want to apply to this hole, and you can see it's already there. I click the green checkbox, and there is my 
bracket with the holes, the two different types of holes. Now to make this stronger, we put some fillets in here. Okay, here's a fillet right here. There's some big fillets and some small fillets. The big fillets, let's do the big fillets first. There's only two. Click fillet. The big fillets, worksheet says, are 12 millimeters. So 12 tab. When I press tab there, that, that sets that number in there. And this one is a big fillet, so that just curves that. And this one is a big fillet. Okay, so I press the green arrow, and that's that makes that stronger right there. The rest of the fillets everywhere else on this whole thing are three millimeters. So click on the fillet, type in three, press tab to accept the settings. And I'm going to show you what you don't want to do first. Watch. If I click on the back plane here, it fillets everything. And I really don't want the fillet on the bottom, and I really don't want the fillet here. So if I click on something I don't want, I just have to click on this X and it will undo that. Okay, I do want the fillet. I can just click on the individual lines that I want. I do want the fillet here. I do want it here. I do here, here, and here. Okay, here. And then I can just kind of go around, move this and go around. Okay, so I'm clicking on all the edges that I see, but not the bottom. Oops, not that one. Okay. There we go. I think I got them all. I'm going to click the green checkbox just to make sure. It looks like I got them all. Oops, except I forgot one. I'm going to go back into here. I can, I can add a new fillet if I want, or I can go in and, and edit this one by clicking twice. I forgot this, the front. There we go, did the whole front. Okay, and there is my bracket.